are the one that calls us unto this hour. Yes, yes. Pray now, God, that you remove Timmy's sight from self. Yes, yes. Please. Now, allow this thy preached word to go forth. Yes. We pray, God, that it fall not on deaf ears, but that every man, woman, boy, and girl be able to take it and apply it to their everyday living. That their lives may not be in vain, that they may be obedient to it and share it with a nine sense world. This will be our prayer. In Jesus' holy and righteous name. Yes, yes. The church respond by saying amen. Amen. Thank God. Pastor Henderson, I to this pulpit of preachers, pastors, to the officers and to the membership of the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church. And to you all, this aggregation of people that are gathered here on Tonight, we greet you. Yes, Again, I stand and say that this is a home-going celebration. Amen. amen. Because if you knew Joyce, amen, you knew that she liked to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Can I go with it? I said, Mother liked to have fun. Go ahead. And she liked to laugh. Yeah. And she liked to have fun. Amen. I want to call your attention to one passage of scripture that I want to put on your hearts tonight from the book of Hebrews in the ninth chapter. All right, that's a good one. Now, Hebrews chapter nine. Yes. And I want that you look at verse number twenty-seven. That's the only verse I want you to occupy. Amen. Hebrews the ninth chapter, verse number twenty-seven. Hebrews nine and twenty-seven. Say that with me. Hebrews nine. Hebrews nine. Verse twenty-seven. Verse twenty-seven. I wanted to register because those of you all that don't have a Bible, I want you to read it when we get on. Amen. Hebrews 9 and 27 reads like this. Mm -hmm. And as it is appointed uh -huh. unto men once to die. Yeah. But after this, yeah. the judgment. I see. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And as it is appointed. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> Unto men wants to die. Yes, sir. But after this, the judgment. Mm -hmm. I want to speak with you just briefly tonight in encouraging words from the Semitic thought. You might as well live before you die. I know that's right. right. That's good. Amen. Yeah. You, you, you might as well live I like that. before you die. Yeah. This passage of scripture say, and as it is mm -hmm. appointed, yes. God has set yeah. Amen. A permanent appointment. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That cannot, shall not, mm -hmm. and will not mm -hmm. be Amen. Discarded or erased. That's right. Yeah. It is an appointment. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. There's nothing you can do to cancel it. That's right. Nothing you can do to get out of it. That's right. right. Ladies, you can cancel your beauty shop appointment. That's point. right. Yeah. yeah. They do it. Can I get a witness? They do it. Yeah. Right. You, 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 you can cancel a doctor's appointment. Yeah. Right. You can cancel any appointment that you have. Come on, my friend. But you cannot cancel mm -hmm. the appointment with death. All right. There, there is a truth that is important for all of us to recognize yeah. this evening. And that truth is that as sure as you are born into this world, yeah. you will die. That's it. All right. And whether it's in your home, yeah. on your job, yeah. in your car, yeah. at school, yeah. on a plane, mm. hanging out, yeah. hanging in,
that cannot be rescheduled, yeah. right. cannot be revised, cannot be canceled or postponed. Mm. And I wish somebody would listen to me tonight. So what am I to do between that certainty of death and the fact of life? Huh. What shall I do in between sunrise and sunset? Uh -huh. What should I be knowing, amen? What should I know yeah. that God has got me up another day? Come on, yeah. I don't know about you, but I think I want to do what Joy Sykes did. What's that? She lived yeah. until she died. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I know three things about Joy Sykes Come on now. that this parable of this text teaches. Yeah. First of all, you ought to live like it's a privilege. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Privilege. Look at the text. It, it's appointed. Yeah. That Greek word, amen, for appointed is the word apokime, amen. And that word apokime draws a picture of something that is eventually going to happen. Uh -huh. But it is in the third person. <laughs> so it's the advice that someone gives to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, one of these days, yeah. Yeah. you're going to die. The transition is mentioned by Paul to be 
be absent from this body. Yeah. It's to be present with the Lord. Yeah. All I came by here tonight to tell you is you might as well live yeah. as well as this life with some joy. Yeah. Joyce was a joyful person. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I know three things she enjoyed. What's that? First, she enjoyed being a believer of Jesus Christ. Yeah. She started out in the Mount Moriah Church yeah. under Reverend Gates. Yeah. Yeah. And my mama enjoyed talking about the Lord. Yeah. She didn't right. sing in the choir. Uh -huh. She didn't usher on the floor. Uh -huh. She didn't want an office in the church. Yeah. But she was a lover yeah. of Almighty yeah. God. She loved her family. She loved her neighbors and friends. I came home for dad's funeral last August. And she was sitting in her living room with some company. And she introduced me to a lady. She called her name. Told the lady where I live. And said, this is my son. But he's also my pastor. And I took her friend's hand. And I wanted to know how long she knew my mother. And she said, Pastor, I just met her. So all I'm coming by here tonight to tell you that she enjoyed having fun. She loved being creative with her artwork. A God-infused talent that she enjoyed as a hobby. Her and both her sisters, Kat and Stella. Her deceased brother, Uncle Bubba, was also gifted with this talent. Along with myself and Wani and many others. And tobacco received her compassion to care for people from my mom. Thank you, tobacco, for doing a great job. Yeah. Mother received a great job yeah. through being created in her heart. And here's the problem. Too many people are walking around sad-faced. Sad instead of living life with some joy. Yeah. You only get a few years here. Yeah. Why don't you just have some fun? Yeah. 